Okay, we are now looking at example problems for section 11.1. All right, here we go. Find the perimeter and the area of parallelogram RSTU. Okay, please note, you're gonna take your base times your height, but your height is not 24 inches. Everybody think, oh, there's 24 on the side. Ooh, 32 times 24. Oh, no, no, not that easy. So, we wanna find the height. We wanna see how far it is up this red dotted line. And the only cue they give us is that it's a 30 degree angle up there. Oh, I wonder what we should do. Oh my. What should we do? Oh, let's look at the red dotted line. I know I have a 30 degree angle here. Oh, yes. We're going to use 30, 60, 90 triangles. Oh, <laughs> yep, we have a right angle. So if I know this piece over here is 24, how do I get that 24? Because if this is 24, then this is 24. All right. What is the rule again? Short side is always half of your hypotenuse. So I'm going to go to the short side. That's 12. What's my long leg? Times square root 3. So this is 12 square root 3. Okay, so now I'm going to take my base times my height. My base is 32. And now I know my height is 12 square root 3. Okay. Then you take your handy dandy calculator. And what I am really going to push for, it's going to be hard, but I want you to leave it in terms of square root 3. Or in your in radical form, I guess I should say. Um, so when you type this in on your calculator, I'm sure you're all typing in right now. You should have 660. Oh, whoops. Guess what I did. I need to take 32 times 12, and that gives me, sorry about that guys, 384, and then I'm going to tag along the square root of 3. Okay, so that's my area, 384 square root 3. Um, and then you would, you would really need to check your answer. You just take 384 square root 3 in your calculator, and that gives you 665.1. And that way you can double check in the back of the book for the answers like that. Okay, next example. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Very similar to the other one. Find the perimeter of the parallelogram DEFG. Very similar, in fact, same type of problem. You're going to take the base times the height. Our base is given. Our base is that good old 27. And now we got to figure the height. Hopefully we don't have to redraw everything here. I've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle again. So here's my 30, here's my 60, here's my 90. I've got the hypotenuse. The short side is always half the hypotenuse, so that would be 10.5. And then my long leg would be 10.5 times square root 3. All right, so over here when I figure out my height, I take 10.5 times the square root of 3. Then we go to our calculators. 27 times 10.5 and times square root 3 is 491.0. All right, I would normally ask if there are any questions on that, but you can ask in class. Um, moving on to the next one. The Canes want to sod a portion of their yard. Find the number of square yards of grass needed to, sh to sod the shaded region in the diagram. Okay, so you're going to work at this. There's lots of things you can do. You can divide this up into little sections, find the area of each section. But I think my favorite is to take the full area and subtract out these pieces. So my full area is... 200 times 150, base times height, that's a parallelogram right there. It's just um, a special type of parallelogram. So that'd be 30,000. All right, and then I'm going to subtract out my vegetable garden. So VG is vegetable garden. That's 40 by 50, which is going to give me um, 2,000. 
Okay, and I should play ball. Square feet, square feet. And then I have my garage and walkways. Okay, I can do that in one full swoop. I've got 150 by 60. So I go ahead and multiply that. I got 9,000. So now I'm going to take my 30,000, that's my full area, subtract out 2,000, subtract out 9,000. All right, so that's basically 30,000 minus 11,000, which is going to make it 19,000 square feet. And that's the area of the blue portion. Okay, then you're thinking, whoa, we're doing good. Find the number of square yards. Um, but wait a minute, what does that say, square yards? What are we measuring in right here? <gasps> square feet. Now, this is going to rock your world a little bit too. And you need to know this for your homework assignment as well. Oh my goodness. Here is one square foot. Um, square foot. And this is a yard, and this is a yard. If I want to make a square yard, it takes three feet to make up one yard. And now I'm going to fill in the square yard. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful drawing right there. Woo, how many square feet does it take? It takes nine. So actually, we're going to take 19,000. That's how many square feet, and I'm going to divide it by nine. because okay, I have nine square feet per yard. Okay, I know it seems like, should I divide by three? But you've got three doesn't tell me how many square feet are in a square yard. So 19,000 divided by nine, and you're gonna get this 2,111. And that is how many square yards that you're gonna need. Okay, moving on. Next question. Uh, the vertices of a quadrilateral are listed above here. Negative 1, 1. So I'm going to put them on the graph paper here. Negative 1, positive 1. 1, 4. Um, 5, 4. And 3, 1. Um, find the perimeter of the quadrilateral. Okay. Well, some of this is pretty easy. You're like, well, this from here to here, from this point to this point, this is A, and this is B, and then C, and then D. Okay, well, this is four units. Well, then this must also be four units. And then you got to figure out what this is. And don't tell me it's 3 over 2. 3 over 2 is a slope. That's a wonderful thing to know. But that is not how we figure out the distance from A to B. <gasps> the distance from A to B, we use the distance formula. Oh yeah, D is equal to, there was a reason why I gave that to you again. All right, so I'm gonna take my four minus one squared, and then I'm gonna take one plus one, because one minus negative one, and square that. Three squared plus two squared, nine plus four gives me a square root of 13. So the length from here to here, is square root 13, and the length over here is also square root 13. So if I want to find the perimeter, I'm going to add up all four sides. So square root 13 plus square root 13 plus 4 plus 4. And I think we're going to default to our calculators, so grab your calculators and have a little hate aim that. Press pause if you need to. And I'm getting 4.19. So the distance, oh, this is not the distance. The perimeter is equal to 4.19. It didn't tell me how many decimal places to go, so that's another thing. Or you can give me 4.2, and I would love that as well. All right, next question is find the area of the quadrilateral. Well, the area, it's... Um, a parallelogram again, so I need to use base times height. The base of this parallelogram is 4, 
and the height. Wait a minute. I don't use the slant. I use how tall it is. How tall to get to my garage? Three units. Three units to make that work. So four times three is 12. So the area is 12, and you would probably write down square units in a case like this. All right. And this is the end of the lesson right here. Um, let me know if I made any mistakes so we get the changes made. Um, otherwise, I will be going over. I won't be going over. You can ask questions about this tomorrow in class. All right.